I didn't use Swift to write the code for Upspell, my word game for iOS. I used Objective-C, the main programming language for Apple platforms before Swift was introduced. Why is that? Well, Swift didn't offer me anything I felt I needed. Objective-C works. It worked for us in the original iPhone project, too. And you know, the problems we try to solve as we make apps now are pretty much the same as they were back then. My goal for Upspell was to make an enjoyable word game for iOS and to get that app into your hands as soon as I could. As I was working, I wanted to think less about technology and more about how to have fun spelling words. You know, I've been around the Apple software community for a long time now, and I worry about the amount of time we continue to spend on the computer science angle of Swift and searching for technology problems for the language to solve. Prioritizing technology puts things the wrong way around. Check out this Steve Jobs clip from 1997. One of the things I've always found is that you've got to start with the customer experience and work backwards to the technology. You can't start with the technology and try to figure out where you're going to try to sell it. And I've made this mistake probably more than anybody else in this room. We're making the same mistake with Swift. Consider this tweet about whether and how to rewrite this piece of code as a complicated Swift one-liner. I scrolled through the thread, and with due respect to the people who weighed in, I think the conversation is misguided. We're not making the best use of our time as a programming community when we debate how to rewrite code in a Swifty style. The very existence of Swift has led us to this, to waste time and to focus on the wrong things. We should be focused on creating more apps and better apps, not kind of better programming languages and figuring out how to rewrite all of our code in a new and different way. The Swift era has been one big distraction and a frustrating time for me because none of the stuff that many Swift proponents seem to care about most is what makes creating apps hard anyways. Okay, story time. Back in the 1970s, I was playing Little League Baseball, and one time we were one out away from winning a game. The other team had the winning run on base, but then their batter hit this slow ground ball to our first baseman, who fielded it cleanly. All he had to do was step on first base, and we would have won the game. Instead, he threw the ball away, and the tying and winning runs came around to score for the other team, and we lost. My dad was our coach. And at our next practice, he told us to keep our chin up about that game that we lost because the experience could teach us an important lesson. He said, the next time you're out on the field waiting for our pitcher to throw the next pitch, think, what am I going to do if the ball comes to me? Imagine all the things that might happen and then decide ahead of time what you're going to do. We need to do the same thing as developers as we write apps. What am I going to do if the person taps here? We need to imagine all the things that might happen and then write code to handle it. In my word game, I had to worry about multiple touches, animations that occur over time and might get interrupted by yet more taps, and the game timer that eventually was going to preempt everything. This is the hard part of programming, deciding on the correct behavior for our apps in all circumstances and then writing code to do only that finding and drawing together all the loose ends in the best way that we can, getting past the technology to deliver useful, meaningful, and enjoyable experiences for people. Objective-C remains an effective tool for doing this, and after all, that's what a programming language is, a tool. I tend toward picking up tools that I know and trust, but I'm willing to adopt new tools when the benefits are clear and measurable. This is the sticking point. Swift has never convinced me that it offered such advantages. It's complicated. And at what cost? I've never had vexing type-checking problems in my programs, and I've shipped a lot of code over the years. And the increased compilation time is a heavy burden every day. You know, Swift has caused years of churn in the Apple development community for not enough benefit. It's a project about computer science-y language stuff, rather than creating great apps for people. I sure do wish Apple had decided to evolve and extend Objective-C rather than develop a new language from scratch. 
I would have loved to see what a declarative objective CUI might have turned out like. That's a technology that I would have been excited about. As it is, we have a swift future ahead of us. And I suppose I'll need to switch to the language at some point if I want to continue writing code for Apple platforms. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it.